Hey, this is a Pheomax's first tutorial. I am a Pheomax. Now, in this quick tutorial, I am going to show you how to clear the memory of an application. Now, I'm going to do a really dirty way of doing this. So, I'm going to set a button and a timer. A label. Let's just add the timer in. Timer, timer, timer. And timer. Now I'm going to add another button in. Just put that down there. Okay, so I'm going to do the timer text. Now, interval to 10. And button 1, so timer1.start. So that starts the timer. Now, timer 1, I'm going to go dim i. In fact, no. Yes, dim i. Now, i equals i plus 1, and integer equals 0. And then label1.text equals i. So every time that goes up, it is going to make the label so it shows an extra one. Now, I'm going to add this code in. This will be in the video description. So this is just bringing in an API, which is the set process working set size. And that just has some extra variables in there. Um, and now this is my flash memory script. This is probably my most secret script I actually have ever like made. Now, so what it does is it gets a garbage collector, which is the inbuilt column memory like offloading so now what it does is if it gets the platform and it's windows 32 then it gets the set working set size and then which will be this one and then it gets the process name and now for each of the processes it will get the handle and minus it by one in both um variables so now what i'm going to do is press this button so that go to double click that's going to the code view and then type in flush memory now I'm just gonna run that now so this is my basic that's my form and now here is my task manager so this is gonna be called flush in fact no I'm not I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna go build build a flush memory I'm going to go into documents and then I will go into Visual Studio 2008 projects, flush memory. I've made quite a few programs. Um, we should save all. Flush memory. Build flush memory. That should be in there. Okay, so flash memory. Object release. Now there's my flash memory. Copy that. That's in copy did it. So there's my flash memory. Okay. Now there is my task manager. Now I'm gonna start running that. So as you can see, that's going up. Now it should be using a little bit of memory. Flush memory. Okay, so we have 7,550k. Now, if I go flush memory, it just went down quite a fair way, down to 3,500. Now, this is because it's just clearing other variables and stuff. So, as we can see, it's 4,400. Press that. 2,000. So, if you set that to a timer, it will periodically clear the memory so it doesn't overload the CPU. Now I'm thinking that's quite a good idea, I think. But that's that's just my view. Now let's just change that a little bit. And now do that a couple of times. Now we will go build flash memory. Now we'll just run it again. So it should just be in here somewhere. F for flash memory. So it's using belt centers before. 
but now it's going quite a lot faster. Now, as we can see, it's going kind of a little bit, not too much. Just clear that. It goes down to like 2,000. So just keep doing that. And it will go down to a lot less than it really should be. So all it's doing is it's just hiding the actual CPU, but it's minimizing the what the actual usage is. Now for huge programs, this is quite good. For little programs like this, probably isn't much of a good idea because you don't need it. But yeah, I hope that helped. Now you can find me at http semicolon double slash fayomax.acrylic.net Now if you go there, you'll be able to find all my stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching the tutorial. I hope you learned something because this is a great thing to have in big applications, especially for uploading big files and taking screenshots especially because they're quite memory hogs. So yes, thank you.